game is everything that you thought it would be like before you had jumped hell into no <laughs> man talk about it man no man what was it like man before, like before you came into the game and how did you picture it and like oh no man i grew up i grew up watching Lil wayne and shit so i don't know i don't I, my expectations weren't like everybody else's expectations you feel me? like mm -hmm. uh it went too much I don't think I put too much thought into that shit. I was just really waiting on niggas to drop, <laughs> for real. Yeah. But it ain't what I thought it was getting into it as far as the like business it, aspect. Like, is it more fake when you came yeah, into the hell game yeah. and you start realizing a lot of hell shit just yeah. be... Yeah, a lot of shit love. be lame. Niggas be lame and fuck. Like, niggas be Hollywood and... It just be crazy. Niggas be hanging on their own people, crossing their own people out and shit. You don't need, you don't need to take all that. What you think some uh, lessons that you learned so far with being in the music game, good and bad? Um, that you can take away from this shit. Uh, networking always wins. And communicate. I mean, um, first, first of all, I tell any artist that um get advice from me, like having a, having a solid team is the first thing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you please gotta, speak on that. Bro. You gotta have people always have a know. solid team and people in position. You know what I'm saying? Like people in position to play different roles. Like don't let these people take your bread. Like. <laughs> mm -hmm. Niggas be opening up for people, charging niggas five, ten bands to open up for Gucci Man and shit. Don't let these people take your money. Shit ain't worth it. Like mm -hmm. all it taking networking, getting to the areas that you need to be at the right place at the right time and working. 